Boys, today I'm going to be showing you one of the glitchiest and most broken mechanics in MLB The Show 23. It's going to be a left-handed submarine pitcher that can throw 103 with 120 hits per nine. This is going to be the absolute cheese this year. Now, if you want to make a hitting archetype, those guys are absolutely gross too. But in this video, we're going to be going over the pitching archetype and the grossest ball player build that you will need to end up winning so many ranked games and getting nine inning shutouts with like 15 strikeouts because I don't know how you're going to be able to hit this this year. They're going to be able to throw 103 and some of the pitch mixes. It's just, it's, it's crazy. Before we get into this, make sure you guys hit that like and sub button as we are on the road to 10k subscribers and you guys have been absolutely killing it and let's get right into it. All right, boys. So first things first, what you are going to want to do, you can do one of two things. So honestly, it's not that bad if you don't do this, but it definitely helps. Go to the create, go to vaults and you're going to end up looking for rosters and you're going to end up looking for a zero overall roster that's going to help you end up pitching against worst opponents. So you're going to get more XP per game, more strikeouts per game and more hits per game. It's just going to make the whole process go a lot faster. But all you have to do is press sort and you're going to sort the type. I know I'm blocking it by uh, by ascending. Once you do that, you can see that XP grind by any team is right here. You're going to press on it. I'm kind of covering it, but you'll see it. You're going to press on download and make sure you press download here. And if you already have it, like I already have it, then it'll just show up right there and you don't have to do it. But just press new save once you end up doing it and it'll end up loading this roster. And so it looks like this. Now, what you're going to do from that is to create the absolute glitch god, you're going to end up going to ball player. And I've already created him here. We're starting to work on him. You know, we're still getting his attributes up. But the biggest thing here is that you're going to want to change his motions and sounds whenever you're creating the player. And you're going to want to go for a animations. You're going to want to go for Tyler Rogers. So Tyler Rogers is a current player and he's under page 26. He has one of the grossest submarine deliveries in the game. It's directly underhand, so it makes him really, really good. If you don't want to go for this, there's guys like kind of sidearm like Sergio Romo, but I would definitely say that Tyler Rogers is the best this year, so you should definitely use him in your glitchy build. But I have him, and you're, to make him left-handed, you actually back out of this and you go to general info. And then all you have to do is go to throw hand and go to left, but that's how you get the left-handed sub guy. Then whenever you're creating your ball player and grinding your ball player, you get, we're gonna show how gross he is, but you just press on road to the show. If you already do it, then you can just start a new file. And it's pretty, it's not that hard to do. You just press select roster and you load save rosters and you use the XP grind for any team. So make sure you load that roster. That's very, very important that you end up doing it. And then you can start it with the active ball player that you're using. So I press it like that. It should load that roster every single time you go into MLB The Show and Road to The Show. And so that's something that's really just kind of handy. But make sure that you do that. If you forget to load the roster, just make a new, uh, a new Road to The Show. Just start a new file and then do it. Um, as far as this, I'm just going with the Tigers because it doesn't really matter and because it's any team and you can use any roster for this but you're gonna be facing zero overalls on top of this this is a huge way to xp grind this year it's really easy to xp grind and honestly i might turn this into an xp video later in the week because this grinding for ball player not only does it get your ball player really really good and so he's amazing in diamond dynasty but it's faster than the xp method that's like forty thousand that i ended up putting out earlier so it's a little bit better for a couple different reasons. Whenever you're grinding this, you're getting XP from the ball player program that we're going to go go over after we end up finishing this game. But we're going to pitch a game with them so you can kind of see what to expect with this guy. But just kind of envision your player like this, except for he is going to be pitching against guys in Diamond Dynasty and throwing 103 because he'll be fully maxed out. As far as like getting his hits per nine up, which is definitely the most important thing. The way that you're gonna get his hits per nine up is you're just gonna add equipment to him. There's tons of equipment in the shop. I wouldn't recommend necessarily buying them already, but you can see how everybody is a one overall Joe random here. And so you're gonna be facing one overalls and it's gonna be just, it's a, it's a nice and easy XP method, man. I'm telling you, it's not a hard grind. If you wanna make this go mindless and easy, uh, you'll see a couple of settings that I have here. I put the pitching on classic. That way I can kind of just watch Netflix and chill out. And you can turn the difficulty of the game all the way up to Hall of Fame or Legend. I would do Legend, so you're getting as much XP as possible. But it's it's really gross. So turn off the pitching difficulty, to turn it to Legend, 
and you can just turn everything to legend here and you'll get more xp per game and you're facing one overall so they're not gonna like piece you up or anything so you don't have to worry about that but this is the whole xp grind and the ball player grind and it's it's a lot better than the xp video i dropped like two videos ago and i'm sorry about that i just didn't know that this was in the game yet but this is the roster that i am talking about and this really helps you can see that he's throwing literally submarine this guy is going to be a dog in diamond dynasty he's he is the glitch build and you're gonna be able to absolutely just use this to your advantage boys this happens every year every year you'll face somebody in diamond dynasty with one of these i know a couple of people will probably be annoyed that i'm making this video because a lot more people will end up doing it but it's gonna be fun and i'm gonna be using the cheese you know if you can't beat it join it on top of that all ball players are really gross so we're gonna end up putting out a hitters ball player in a little bit but this is definitely the the way this year you can see that i'm gonna be striking out probably pretty much everybody it's not gonna be that hard to do so because a lot of these players are absolute cheeks that you're facing and if they start teasing you just throw a curveball they'll probably look stupid because they have zero discipline he actually made contact that's crazy all right boys so we just ended up getting pulled from the game and you know as far as xp goes we'll see what we end up getting i'm guessing roughly 1800 to 2000 uh, according to the recording the gameplay took about six minutes around six or seven minutes maybe a little bit longer so we're getting 1500 xp and on top of that you're going to be getting all of your progress towards your attributes and so how you're going to be leveling up this player to a diamond and get him to the best archetype possible it's actually really simple so you're going to go to top left and you can end up seeing kind of your perks and your attributes you can see that i went for the painted cheese because i wanted my guy to uh throw gas and so that's kind of what i ended up going with you want to end up do choosing the velocity archetype on your ball player that way you can get him to throw as hard as possible eventually this card is going to be able to touch 103 miles per hour which is really awesome but to end up seeing where you need to level up and how you're going to be leveling up is you go to all the way down to play style then skill set and you end up looking at tasks and rewards right here and you can see that i'm at 19 right now so you're going to get about nine per game so it's going to take you like 10 games, a little 10 or 11 games to end up getting this done. The reason why it might be less is because whenever you get the 40 innings, you get 10. And then whenever you get 50 strikeouts, you get 10 too, which you should end up getting in 10 games easily. So it might even take less than 10 games. So it's roughly around an hour ish to end up getting each archetype so it'll take three hours to end up maxing this thing out because once you get or actually it'll take four hours to max this thing out sorry so four hours of gameplay because you'll go silver then you'll go gold and then you go diamond wait i'm wrong so it'll be three so it'll take three hours to end up maxing this program and i'm gonna be grinding this tonight so i should be diamond tomorrow but this is going to be the best archetype to get his velocity even higher. What you're going to end up doing is you're going to be going all the way down to your perks. And you're going to make sure that you have velocity three whenever you end up getting velocity. Always take the velocity perks when you get the packs. Uh, control's okay too. You can take control one. Uh, they don't necessarily stack. But that'll end up helping you. As far as pitch mix goes, I'm just going to be going four seam change up curveball. I'm probably going to add a fork ball. Uh, eventually so this is going to be really good for mlb the show and diamond dynasty uh so whenever you're playing ranked seasons fork balls are usually really gross from sub guys so you can throw a fork ball or a screw ball i mean either one are gross but we can go we can go a uh, screw ball actually so we'll go screw ball you'll want to have a slider or change up depending on how it is just from that arm slot it's really gross so we can go something like four seam change up slurf screw ball you can mess with it a little bit but uh it, it gets it gets absolutely gross whenever you use these guys in diamond dynasty you can't put a, a knuckleball in diamond dynasty sadly at least i don't believe you can if i am you can correct me in the comment section below but this is going to be the grossest glitchy pitcher in mlb the show 23 and this is going to be what i'm grinding you can get this guy up to 103 make sure that you add your equipment go to the mlb the show shop and you can actually end up seeing this in the marketplace but you're gonna wanna get, just get pitching archetype and pitching that helps with velocity and hits per nine because you should be able to get this guy's hits per nine up to even 120. So whenever he's throwing 103 miles an hour from left-handed sub and he's got 120 hits per nine, 
card is going to be filthy, but this is the best build in MLB The Show 23. Boys, enjoyed this video, and you want to see more like this, make sure that you guys smash that like and sub button as we are trying to hit 10k subscribers on the main channel. I appreciate you boys. Have a great rest of your day. Should be a double upload today, and I'll talk to you boys later. Peace.